country as to how this looks. And this, the simple bottom line statement here is that this, is, this phenomenon is occurring across the United States in state governments. And these are the results of a survey uh, that was done of other state tax departments, uh, 12 of the state tax departments that administer income taxes, uh, responded to this informal survey comparing their collections in April of 09 with their collections in April of 08. And so we want to show you uh, really how widespread this phenomenon is of having a bad April. Uh, the 12 state average uh, for the decrease in revenue from the final 2008 returns for these states was 33%. Ohio was 39. So we're pretty close to the average for the states in this survey. And then the second dot point, the states were also asked about their quarterly estimated payments for 2009 that were remitted in April. Uh, and uh, the 12 state average was 34% decline from the previous year. Ohio was almost identical to the average 35%. So all we're telling you here is that the phenomenon that we're seeing in Ohio is widespread across the United States. Okay, Mike, I think you can go to the next one. Uh, the next, this slide shows you how the national recession has forced state government to reduce its revenue forecast, in this case, its personal income tax forecast, uh, this year, fiscal year 2009. And we tried to show, illustrate this in a very simple way. The bar on the left is actual state income tax collections for all of last year, fiscal 08. And we rounded these mercilessly to tenths of billions. So to keep this very simple on a chart. So in fiscal 2008, the state of Ohio collected $9.1 billion in income tax collections. Now let's look at 2009 and compare it to 2008. Uh, this, the bar on the right is 2009, and it shows you the original Ohio income tax forecast for 2009 and how we have changed it uh, through this process of uh, reducing the state budget and reducing the state forecast. The, the top, uh, at the top of that bar you see 9.3 billion. Back when Director Sabati and OBM and the agencies and the governor's office all pulled together and submitted the Blue Book budget for fiscal 08 and 09, the official estimate for fiscal 09 income tax collections was 9.3 billion, which if we had actually, if we actually collected that in 09, it'd be more than 08. Unfortunately, that isn't going to be the case. Uh, before the budget was even enacted by the legislature, specifically in the conference committee, way back in July 1st of 07, that forecast was reduced to 9.2 billion. It wasn't changed very much, but it was reduced. About six months later, uh, and most of you probably remember this, we revised the state's official budget forecast, revenue forecast down, not just for the income tax, but for the general fund in, in total. And, and the governor um, and budget office implemented a series of spending cuts and adjustments. And at that time, we were saying that we thought income tax, state income tax revenues in 09 would be 9.1 billion. So we adjusted it downward, not very much at that point. Uh, so we adjusted it downward. In September of 08, we did another major budget adjustment, more spending cuts, more adjustments to the state budget. And in that set of adjustments, the state income tax forecast was reduced all the way down to 8.7 billion. And then only three months after that, in December, we did another major budget adjustment, spending cuts, uh, revenue reductions, and the state income tax forecast at that time was reduced to $8.3 billion. That's where we sit today, the official budget revenue forecast for the income tax for the current year, fiscal 09, is $8.3 billion. So you get a sense of how much 
less that obviously is than what we collected last year in 08. Now what we're going to talk about now a little bit is how that 8.3 billion forecast that we did officially last December looks in the light of today's figures. So let's go to the next slide, right? And what this slide does is it illustrates for you how income tax collections have actually come in each month since the December reforecast. Okay? And it shows you month by month. Now we, we actually reforecast re in December, I think towards the end of December. So if you look at December up there, you see that our, our income tax forecast was amazingly accurate <laughs> for the month of December. Uh, you don't even see a bar at all there. We were, I think, within a million dollars of uh, the December uh, estimate, the estimate versus the actual for December. But when we got the January figures totaled up in early February, we found that state income tax revenues for January were 45 million less than that forecast we had just reduced in December. February went the other direction. February was kind of an anomaly, at least in hindsight. We didn't know back then that it was an anomaly so easily, but obviously when you look at it now, you see February was, it was an anomaly. In February, we collected $10 million more income tax revenues than our estimate for February. In March, we collected $40 million less than the estimate for March. Now, if you just looked at those, just that part of the chart and didn't see April, uh, you might get a little surprised, I guess, with the way April turned out. Um, because in April, we collected for the month alone, $322 million less than the forecast. April, in effect, is off the charts here. Uh, and sort of continuing in that vein, let's do the next slide. 